Hello everyone, I uh, wanted to go over a uh, neat little trick available in the uh, Leechy app for the uh, Phantom Series quadcopters from DJI. And what this is going to cover is the ability for you to create a waypoint mission that follows the uh, contour of the terrain. Now I'm in Google Earth here and this is where we're going to create our waypoint mission. And then we're going to finish it up uh, and follow up by tweaking it in the mission hub um that you see before you here and what i've got is a terrain where i know that this area that i'm pointing to now is higher than this area down here this is at uh, lake level which is uh from here to here is a significant uh downhill slope so we're going to begin by uh creating a set of waypoints in google earth and i'm here in the same location and how we're going to initiate this is by beginning up top here, we've got an add path tool. So we're going to create a path and then later export that path out and then import it into Leechy, uh, the mission hub online. So I'm going to select my path tool and I'm going to give it a name and you can leave it at the untitled path. It's going to appear over here once we begin to manipulate it. Set your colors. I'm going to pick a, a blue and I'm going to make it uh, 50% or 40%. That's fine. And the view, we're going to move into altitude. And what we're going to t tell this parameter is to be relative to ground. So the distance that we set this here, our altitude, is going to be relative to what the ground altitude is. And at any point, you can put your pointer over the ground or any areas, streets. And down here, you'll see the elevation. So, for example, over here, if you look at the bottom right, you can see my elevation is 168 feet. Here in the middle of this highway, it's 180 feet. And down a little further down the street, it's 145 feet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say, I'd like for this to be 40 meters above the ground, relative to the ground. And I'm going to tell it to extend the path to the ground. That's going to be helpful to give us a visual. And I've noticed that this setting, this altitude setting, is kind of finicky. Once you, you'll have to set it twice, initially for your first waypoint and then for your second waypoint. After that, it will remain and uh, allow you to keep a constant altitude. So I'll go ahead and start this by setting it again back to 40. And then I'm going to click right in the middle of this area and have set my first waypoint. Now I'm going to go back and change that to 40 one more time. And at that point, if I just begin to make waypoints, working my way down the street, and because this is a downgrade, I'm going from a higher elevation to a lower elevation, these points are going to be set at 40 meters above the terrain. Now, while you've got your waypoint path tool, you can't scroll around. But what you can do is zoom out and then put your pointer in the vicinity where you'd like to zoom in. And at that point, I can click and continue putting my waypoints in. So I can zoom out, zoom in with the roller wheel, and then continue putting my waypoints in a location. All right, so I'm going to say that I'm done for this illustration. I'm going to enter OK. Now I can pan around, I can scroll around, and I can actually look at the elevation following the contour of the land. So if you see, let me get it where it would appear to be level. You can see that we're starting at an elevation that's higher and we're continuing down this hill where the elevation is lower. So if I were to scroll this and put my pointer over it, if I look at the bottom right down in this area here, you can see that my elevation is 99 foot that would be 99 foot above sea level okay and if I scroll on up and look where we began you can see roughly that my elevation is 180 foot so this is going to be a real handy way for us to create waypoint missions that as we approach a hill or go down we can remain a constant altitude and not have to worry about colliding into the terrain okay so our next step is to get this waypoint path out of Google Earth and into Mission Hub. 
So our Untitled Path, what we're going to do is we're going to right click it and we're going to choose Save Place As. And at this point, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And it's important that you select a KML extension. And we'll just leave it at Untitled Path and save that. Now, we're going to go into uh, flyleachy.com slash hub and create an account. Um, and it will automatically upload this uh, once we complete it to your um, Leachy app on your iOS or Android device. So I'm going to go under Missions. I'm going to go Import. And I'm going to browse for that file on my desktop. And let's see if we can get lucky and find it. Untitled Path. So I'm going to say Open. Then I'm going to import the new mission. You see it's brought it right in, place it properly on the map, and if we scroll around here, we'll see that it's going to adjust the altitude based on the elevation that we'd established by following the contour of the terrain in Google Earth. So our first waypoint is at 131 feet. Our second is at 127 feet. Our third is at 122 feet. Our fourth is at 118 feet. And so in order to keep that constant altitude as we descend down this hill it's going to adjust that elevation of that particular waypoint now you can tweak these by moving them left and right i wouldn't move them too far uh following the path as you you'll be uh inaccurately representing the terrain that you're uh, flying over we're at 97 feet on this particular one 94 feet here at 92 feet here now at this point you can of course tweak all these settings that you'd like and under here at this point if you want to save that mission give it a name and if you've got in your ipad or your android device synchronized with mission hub uh, it will do that for you you'll just save it and as soon as you turn on your lychee app um, that mission that you've saved by the name that you've provided here will be available to you um, in your lychee app for your uh, android or ios device so i hope that helps somebody out there that's looking for a way to um have your, your missions follow the contour of the land. It's just really nice, especially when you've got uh, steep terrain and hills that you'd be dealing with and um, want to try to remain uh, at a constant altitude from that, that ground. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.